What up? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great today on Wednesday, May 6th of 2020. Today on math, we're going to do the same thing that we did on Monday. On Monday, we did, um, we created a three digit number that was less than 1000. Then you're going to write that number in word form. And the last part, like every day, we are going to solve a word problem. Remember, this week we are doing division word problems. And we need to remember, division is like sharing. That's all you need to remember. Division is sharing. When you have a big number and you want to divide, you share into equal groups. And that's all you have to do in division. Remember that, okay? And now we're going to practice all those steps for you to learn. Okay, guys? I'll see you in five, four, three, two, one. We are going to create a three digit number that is less than 1000. So, we need to remember that this crocodile, the alligator, is going to eat the greatest number. Así que le gusta comer el número más grande. So we need to find a number that is less than this one, but it needs to have a three digit. So it needs to have hundreds, tens, and ones. So let's create any number. Hmm, let's see. I want, hmm, I'm going to choose my favorite number. My favorite number is seven. I'm going to choose my um, wife's favorite number. It's three tens. And I'm going to choose my daughter's favorite number is nine. So, uh, so if you don't know which number you like, um, you can ask your family which are their favorite numbers and put them in the hundreds, tens, and ones. So 739 is less, um, num, 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 is less than 1,000, okay? 739 is less than 1,000, and now I'm going to do it this number in word form. So we have seven, Seven hundred and thirty nine. Okay, this is all of this part. Remember, you're doing the same thing but with your own number. If you don't know which number to create, ask your mom, your dad, your brother what are their favorite number and put them in the hundred cents and ones, okay? Now, let's do the next part. Here, it says, Sean planted 18 flowers into six equal rows. How many flowers are in each row? Let's do this again, but doing cubes. So we're talking about Sean. And Sean, he is planted. He planted 18 Flowers, 18 flores. But he plant them and put them into six equal rows. Así que lo puso en seis filas iguales. La pregunta es, how many flowers are on each row? Así que... Sean planted 18 flowers into six equal row. So the number sentence should be like this. 18 flowers, and we're going to divide, we're going to share into six equal, equal rows. Así que 18 flores lo vamos a dividir en seis filas. Y en cada fila vamos a ver cuántos tenemos Iguales para ser 18. We're going to divide. Remember, divide division is like sharing. 
So we're going to divide 18 divided by 6 equal how many flowers on each row. Now, let's do it something like this. So we have 18 divided by 6. Remember, we have 18 flowers. Let's imagine that my toys are the flowers. And I have 18 toys here. I have 18 flowers. And I'm going to divide it into six rows. We have said six filas. So I can find out how many flowers are on each row. I'll say six fila. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six rows. Hmm, good. Tenemos seis filas. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis filas. Ahora tengo 18 flores. Y los voy a poner igualitos en cada fila. So, I go one, 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 and one. All of them have one, but I still have more flowers. Let's continue adding. Now I have two flowers, two flowers, two flowers, two flowers, and two flowers, and two flowers. All of them have two flowers now, but I still have more flowers. Let's add now, I have three flowers, three flowers, three flowers, three flowers, three flowers, and three flowers. So if I look at this, I have one line right, one line here. I have another line here. I have another line here. I take all the toys. I have another line here. I have another line right here. I have another line right here. And I have the last line right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six lines. But the question is, how many flowers are in one line? ¿Cuántas flores hay en cada fila on each row? So each row has one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So if I have 18 flowers, and divide it into six lines, that means that I have one, two, three, three flowers on each line. Tengo tres flores en cada línea. So you're going to do the same word problem, but with a different number. Sean planted 20 flowers into four equal rows. How many flowers are in each row? So we're talking about the Sean planted 20 flowers into four equal rows. So please write the number sentence, use your toys or your pictures and show it to me. This will be all for today. Have fun. I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.